Hello learners, I am teacher Jonathan and welcome to Easy Elimo Learning Simplified. For our lesson for today, Mathematics for Grade 4, we are dealing with data handling and the data we are handling today, we will be representing that data in tables or using tables, representing data using table. And for our lesson, how can you represent data? How can you represent data? During our previous lesson, we represented data using the tally mark. We represented data using the tally mark. Again, we can also use tables. And this is how we use tables. And as we use tables, now we increase another column. Apart from the tally mark, the same tally mark will be used to give us the frequency that has to be used as we tabulate the data. Now, in our groups, let us record in the meeting that we had for the parents, how, what was the number of men, women, boys and girls who attended that meeting. In our, the pre previous meeting that we had, let us tabulate the number of boys, the number of girls, the number of men and women who attended a meeting. In a meeting, in a meeting, in a meeting, six men, 11 women, five boys, and four girls, and four girls attended. Now, let us represent this data. Now, as we represent data, we have the table that has tally mark for each. A table with a tally mark for each. Let me try to draw this one. Let us represent this one. Now, we have the people who came. The people who came, we had the following category. We had men, we had men. And now, as we organize it, we start. Remember, as we organize, when we are organizing our data, we start from the ascending order. So, can we organize our data from the ascending? The number which has the least, John, we have six men, 11 women, five boys, and four girls. So, the list is girls so we start with the girls girls what is the number of girls number of attendee the number and this number i would like to write it at the end number of people who attended And in between, we have a tally mark. Tally marks. Now, before I fill, we have four girls. Let me fill four girls. Then I tell you what I was to tell you. Boys, they were six. They were five, sorry. And we have men. Men were six. And women were 11. Now, a table, a table or the total amount, the total number of tally marks, the total number of tally marks for each row is, is called frequency. The total tally mark for each row is called frequency. For example, we have girls, the tally mark here and the total. So this total, we call it frequency. The total, we call it frequency. The amount, the total tally mark. The total tally mark for each row. The total tally mark for each row is called frequency. And before I continue, remember this. Remember this. 
we had rows and we had columns. So we have three columns and we had rows when we were piling cubes. We learned what are rows and what are columns. So for each row, the total tally mark. Now, for example, what is the tally mark for girls? We have four of them. So we'll indicate the tally mark, the four strokes like this. So this tally mark, the total of this tally mark is four. This four now, we call it frequency. This four at this end, we call it frequency. Now, what is the frequency for boys? What is the frequency for boys, John? The frequency for boys is five. But for it to appear five, we have now to input the tally mark. One, two, three, four. What did we say about the fifth one? It cuts across. So we cut across like that. That is the fifth one. So can we input the tally mark for men? Was It was six. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And the last one, six. And the, last, the, the next one is the tally mark for women. Tally mark for women, we have 11, so we input 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That is how we input the tally mark. We type 5, 5, and then 1 there. We have said, I'm repeating, the total tally marks for each row is called frequency. So frequency for this row is 4. Frequency for boys is 5, frequency for men is 6, and frequency for women is 11. And then a table with the tally marks and the frequency is called a frequency table. A table with the tally marks and the frequency is called a frequency table. That is very key. A table, a table with tally mark with tally marks, with tally marks, and frequency is called, is called frequency table. It's called frequency table. That is very key for us to understand. We had frequency here and now we have frequency table. That is very key. A table that has both tally marks and the frequency is called a frequency table. Now, this is an example of a frequency table. A table that we have organized, recorded and represented each using the information from a meeting that was attended by six men, 11 women, four boys and five girls. First, collect it record it, organize it in an ascending order, then you can use tally marks and both you had now the frequency. And when you had the tally marks and the frequency together in the same table, we call that one a frequency table. Learners in our groups, can we try to tackle this information? Represent. The task is represent. Task now is to represent. Represent. Task is represent. Task is represent the following in a frequency table. In a frequency table. Represent the following in a frequency table. And this you are representing is the weight of learners. It is the weight of learners is that you are representing weight of learners and the weight is learners with 35 kilos learners with 35 kilograms were five learners with 36 kilograms they were seven learners with 38 kilograms were four and learners with 39 kilograms were nine. So learners represent this information using the frequency table. Hope 
the lesson was enjoyable. Let us meet again in the next lesson.